So over the years, American Express has made strides for women under its Ambition Project. Since its launch two years ago, more than 100 women have been promoted or joined the company at the executive level. Now six women who report directly to the CEO oversee 50% of the workforce. Joining us now is Sonia Cargan, Chief Inclusion and Diversity Officer at American Express. Sonia, great to have you with us today. Explain to us how you're accomplishing your goals with the Ambition Project. So thank you very much for having me join. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. So let me kind of lead with kind of what the ambition project is for American Express. Um, as you said, it started a couple of years ago um, when we brought our most senior women together um, from around the world and asked them two pretty straightforward questions. Do you consider yourself to be ambitious and have you ever publicly declared your ambition? Um, unsurprisingly, our women told us, yes, we're ambitious. Um, but what really surprised us was that only a third of that group of women said that they'd ever publicly declared their ambition. Um, so we really, over the last couple of years, um, have been spending time with our women and men around the organization talking about ambition and women um, here at American Express. Um, and as you said, at the, the top of the conversation, we've seen some tremendous change with um, over 100 women joining those ranks, 40% of our executive committee now being women. Our board's now 30% gender diverse, and we have a record number of women leading our businesses around the world. Um, importantly, when we ask that question again, have you ever publicly declared your ambition? Two thirds of our women now tell us that they've publicly declared their ambition. So Sonia, I love what you're doing. Um, explain the goals and, and how you measure success with this. No, great question, great question. So the goal is really to have a conversation not only within American Express, but also outside of American Express that helps women embrace their ambition and pay it forward. We want women to be ambitious for themselves and ambitious for others, whether that be in their professional life, their personal life, or indeed for their communities. Um, and I can tell you, you know, I've been part of this journey for the past two years here at American Express, and we're having more and more of those conversations, um, more candid conversations, um, conversations whereby women are able to define their ambition and unapologetically pursue, pursue that. So for us, kind of success looks like having those candid conversations, our colleagues knowing that we have their back as they pursue those ambitions and that we're paying it forward outside of American Express in, in our communities. We're seeing many companies establish goal metrics to try to hold themselves accountable. One example recently, Goldman Sachs announcing it won't back any companies without diversity on those companies' corporate boards, especially women. Is this the kind of thing American Express would be interested in doing as well? Do you know, for us, the tone starts at the top, yeah? It's absolutely critical for inclusion and diversity um, that as an organization, you're setting the tone from the top. The Ambition Project is one of the ways in which we're doing that. Um, as I've said, 40% of our executive committee are female, but actually what's even more powerful is that the full executive committee are behind this initiative. So it's important to hold yourselves accountable. It's important to understand the profile of your workforce. It's also important to celebrate your success. So I want you to talk more about the goals here, Sonia. How is American Express emboldening women to be ambitious with their career goals? Um, obviously, your project is working on it, but it, it, does it percolate throughout other elements of the business as well? No, absolutely. I, th I think here's what's important. It's important that you have diverse backgrounds and diverse perspectives sitting around the table. And that includes having the voice of women represented and sitting around the table. So as we pursue this objective, both inside American Express and outside of American Express, we're encouraging people to have ambitious conversations, talk about what ambition means to them. We're, talking, we're, we're encouraging people to look at our research, look at the insights about ambition for women. Um, we're encouraging organizations to develop programs and put them in place that enable women to achieve their fullest potential. I think in American Express, we have a long history of doing exactly that. And the Ambition Project is the next step in our evolution. What's your plan in evangelizing and sharing this information outside of American Express so other companies can start to adopt similar practices as yours? 
No, so fantastic, and thanks for asking. So all of this kicks off next week with International Women's Day. We have events taking place in American Express around the world in 20 of our um, locations. Um, we're having conversations both internally to American Express and outside of American Express. We're heading off into our communities, partnering with not-profit not organizations um, who are supporting the progress and growth of women um, around the world. We really want to encourage individuals and other organizations to join the conversation and have candid conversations about women and ambition. So if you want to do that with us, hashtag the ambition project, tag American Express. We'd love to have more people join us in the conversation. Sonia Cargan, Chief Inclusion and Diversity Officer at American Express. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you very much for having me join.